Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see about graphics kernel system, which comes under graphics standards. So these are the uh, widely used standards in the year 1977 to 1985. So nowadays, these standards are revised. So what is now? We will see about the graphic kernel system which is the first ISO standard for computer graphics in low level established in 1977. So it offers number of drawing aspects for 2D vector graphics appropriate for mapping and related duties. <coughs> and the calls are defined to be movable across various programming languages, graphics hardware so that the application noted to use GKS will be willingly portable to different devices and platforms. So the main function of this GKA system or the graphic standard is the data or the product draft should be transferred through number of programming languages written, written through number of programming languages and viewed in different devices in a different graphic condition. So what are the layers of graphics kernel system? So these are the various layers. So this is an operating system. So which is in uh, present in the computer. So a computer will not function if there is no operating system. So a computer requires the operating system and in this operating system how the object images text videos are seen with the help of only graphical resources and other resources uh, includes like RAM, random access memory, how the system is fast basically from the processor, make of processor, uh, webcam, speakers etc. These are all comes under other resources. And now we are coming into the GKS. So graphic kernel system. So which is nothing but a standard or a format used to view or draft the shapes of the objects. And then language independent layer. Here this language is available in an independent format since there are number of long uh, languages like C, C++, Java. So what are all the things we are seeing in the computer? Like if we type a letter A, A, B, C, D like so alphabets. So if you uh, write A, then A is converted into ASCII code. So with that code only the system reads the letter we get assigning, we are assigning. Okay, so there are number of languages present in the operating system to write what are all the objects drafting in the system through GKS and then application oriented layer which is nothing but in CAD the tools are available on top of the window uh, like that what are all the tools are available in that window so similarly these tools are also available in other softwares like uh, SOLIDWORKS or UNI Graphics, but not in the same shape or object. So these differs through a number of application and then application program. It defines what is the program we are running or opting for drafting. So the, what are the main uses of GKA standards? So first preference is the portability. So with this portability, we can able to port the design or draft and then to assist in the learning of graphic system by application programmers. And then it offers strategy for manufacturers in relating practical graphics capabilities. So the GKS consists of three basic parts. What are the three basic parts? The first part is nothing but how the objects is placed, filled, etc. This is the 
first part how the object is drawn drafted and how it is placed like that these things comes under the first part and then second one is the descriptive descriptive of the material which is nothing but the language the language we are using to describe the objects shapes primitives placement etc how the primitives are placed and then third one is the bindings binding is nothing but the language is binded towards the object or primitives used to drawn the or draft the object we are seeing or we required and then gk's output primitives is based on number of elements that may be drawn in an object known as graphical primitives and then the fundamental set of primitives as the way it names as polyline poly marker fill area text cell array even though a few implementation void in this basic set so in the from the uh, upcoming slides we can see this output primitives. first one polylines polylines is nothing but the line used to draw and then polyline command takes an array of x y coordinates and creates line segments joining them so here polyline uh, we can able to see that uh, in this image uh, the width varies in the image like uh, in this lower bottom image width is 1 and this one is 3.0 and this one 5.0 and then 7.0 so uh, on varying the width the diagram varies or the object drawn in the system varies so it takes x and y coordinates in this point there will be an x coordinate as well as y coordinate and this point x and y will be varies and this one also varies so it takes the x and y coordinates and marks and then the line is framed so here the line type can be solid dashed or dotted this one is solid and this one is dotted and this one is dashed line with scale factor thickness of the line we can able to vary the thickness of the line and then color of the line as we can see that in this image the first one is with the blue and this one is uh, similar to brown and this one is violet and this one is green so these are all the parameters available in the poly and then poly markers so this is a function permits to draw symbols of marker centered at coordinate points like uh, if you have to mark a point on the x coordinate or y coordinate since GKS is a 2D graphical standard, so it gives only X and Y coordinates. Suppose if you want to mark a point, so that point will have X coordinate and Y coordinate and how we can able to mark that point. Like this one marker, dot one, cross, plus symbol, circle, scaled by 15. 15 is nothing but the radius and then marker 4 like a circle or three asterisk mask so these are all the type of marker used to point the coordinate so what are all the parameters available in the poly markers marker char characteristics like how the marker is viewed like a dot or plus or asterisk or circle or cross and the size factor size of the marker and then color of the marker and then fill area so um, if a face of the object is drawn like uh, imagine a cube as an example so cube has like eight faces so if you have to uh, give the first face should be a uh, different one like the um, if it is present in the wall if it is attached in the wall then we have to differentiate that that face is attached with the wall and that fa uh, face how can we differentiate it with this fill area only so these are all the available fillers like a solid fill or gradient 
or textured fill like uh, we can able to see that these threes are textured one and this is a solid one and this will comes under gradient one these are all the available parameters for filling the particular area interior style either solid or hatched pattern or gradient or textured and then style index if the present like like in this uh, example no, uh, in this example we will see that dotted lines in a horizontal manner as well as vertical manner horizontal lines vertical lines left slant lines is nothing but like this type of mark and then right slant horizontal vertical lines etc and then fill area color index like in, in case of solid fill it is filled with the blue color suppose we can if we want to change the color then we will able to change the color in the color index area and then text so how the text is represented in the gks format so this is a character b in the example so the character height and then center point and then the color of the text and then uh, text path like if suppose uh, we want to uh, change the text path like from horizontal to vertical from this text path we can able to change that and then text alignment so these are the parameters in the text and then cell array cell array is nothing but the function so raster like pictures in a device autonomous manner it uh, takes two corner points of a rectangle like x and y direction and with that two points a rectangle is formed and with that rectangle n number of rectangles is formed in the display to show the object or text or primitives etc so it then partitions the rectangle into m into n subtangle rectangles noted as cells which is nothing but pixels uh, so if we going more deeper into the text or drawing then we can able to see that a rectangular shape which is nothing but cell array and through this rasterization technique the cell array are framed to give the display of the object we had drafted or designed it may be either the primitives like basic geometrical shapes or the text and as i said earlier uh, graphic kernel system gks and it is widely accepted in international standard for two dimensional graphics in earlier times and and it is designed to be portable across different programming languages and graphics device and hardware so uh, in gks pictures are considered to be constructed from number of basic building blocks called primitives so now we are seeing an example only so how a duck is drafted and how it is seen in the display so that is the example so these are all framed with the basic primitives so what are all the available primitives for gks like bar arc circle pi or slice these are all the basic primitives so if you want to draw a duck then what are all the options we will use in the gks obviously primitives primitives includes polyline polymarker etc so we will see first of all we will use the polyline so polyline requires the x and y coordinates so this point this point this this one and this one will varies the x and y coordinates so first of all we will mark the point through poly marker so like we will mark that point with the help of x and y coordinate and with this poly marked primitives we will form the line through poly line and then fill area fill area is used to fill this area 
to differentiate the screen and the object. With the help of poly marker, we will mark the points and with the help of polyline, we will join to the poly marked points and then with the help of using fill area, we will fill this area to differentiate the entire window and the object. So finally, we will get the duck on the screen. How we will get with the help of poly marker, the points are marked on the X and Y coordinate basis. And with the help of poly line, the poly marked points are joined. And with the help of fill area, we will differentiate the screen and the object. So this is the GKS format example, an example for the GKS graphics kernel system. So with this, we will end this session and in the next session, we will see about IGS and step. Thank you.